dynamics here. All right, so I bought a, I, okay, so when I went to Florida, I had this Penang curry, this Thai Penang curry, and I fell in love with it, so I'm trying to recreate it. And yesterday I tried, and it didn't end up very well, so I actually got a recipe. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of the things I got. Some organic fresh mushrooms that I will cut to go into that. I got Thai kitchen light coconut milk because the 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 regular coconut milk has like it's 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 disgusting how much fat's in it. It's like 17 grams of fat. Or, it's it's like 17 grams of fat per serving or something. So I don't even know. It's something it's something really freaking gross. So I got the light. I'll use one can of that. Uh, I got well these are dates. Those aren't gonna be. Broccoli, organic broccoli. Uh, let's see, coriander seed and garlic. Just reaching an onion. Uh, I got less sodium soy sauce. Uh, paprika. Tomato paste. A lime and ground nutmeg, and I think that might be it. No. Got a ginger. Red bell pepper. Ah! Organic, very slimy. Uh, ground cloves. And I think that's all that I need. I, I didn't want to get the tofu because I didn't want to have too much protein in the whole thing. I'm going to make the rice, and then I'm going to make the curry, and it's going to be awesome, I think. I really hope it is, because I'm really excited. The, I was watching a video. I was watching, I was watching a video of a lady who said that, honestly, if you get the light coconut milk, it's, it's the same taste. There's no difference. She said there's no really noticeably big difference with the uh, coconut milk. So, guys, yeah, this is gonna be a fattier dish, but the, the, the rice will out kind of like balance it, and the fact that I didn't go for the tofu will mean it's, it's not gonna be so high in protein. Um, I've got green beans that I'm gonna use. The recipe called for snap peas, but I couldn't find any at the store. But I was just probably not looking in the right place. So I'm gonna use some of the, the green beans from my, from my, uh, yeah, from my garden. Uh, so I'll let you know how it goes. I'll show you the dish when it's finished, and. Um, I'm not going to do a recipe video because it's, it's going to be way too hard for me to do everything I need to do and then um, film also because it's just me here right now. So, all right. Now, a lot of people can talk the talk, but can they walk the walk? <laughs> Chico, you've already had enough. There you go. He's a date. He's a he's a date obliviation obliviator, obliviator. I guess that's a word. Who do I left? I gave this one some already. So for all of you guys saying you didn't feed the other one. <laughs> all right, guys, the economics here. So this is my Penang curry base. You know, I got literally probably twenty different ingredients that went into this. So um, I still haven't added the vegetables though. I've got broccoli, mushrooms, red peppers. Got my rice already done. Uh, what else? I, and I've got the, instead of snap peas, I did the green beans. I did, to the, the wok, I used about half of a teaspoon of olive oil. I never use olive oil, but I stole it from my mom's house, and I just figured I'm going to use a tiny bit of it. There's probably two grams of fat from all the olive oil that I use, because a tablespoon is 14 grams, and I used half a teaspoon, so that's about six times less than a uh, tablespoon. So what all went into this? Let's think. Coconut, a little bit of light coconut milk that I bought. Um, I used cinnamon, cumin, turmeric, chili powder, ground nutmeg. I have a Mr. Coffee bean, uh, whatever it's called, grinder. So I used, cor I bought my own coriander seed and grinded it, ground it. Uh, a little bit of red pep gr uh, cayenne pepper, ground cloves, and paprika. Half of a half of a lime, juiced, went into this. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. No salt or pepper. I don't use salt ever in my cooking. Um, it really, honestly, it tastes. Oh, a little bit of um, uh, coconut palm sugar. I used about two tablespoons of that. It really, it smells and tastes amazing so far. So I'm gonna slowly start to add these in. And then once they're, those are thoroughly cooked, it'll be ready. And I'll put it over my rice and it'll be awesome. Alright, so this is what it looks like with all the vegetables added. I'm probably going to lower the heat a little bit, cover it, and, sim and have the vegetables simmer. 
for maybe 10, 12 minutes and just, just kind of check on them periodically until they're cooked all the way through. So I want to give a little shout out to the people who turned me on to this type of Thai cooking and stuff. So basically when I was in uh, Fort Myers, Cape Coral area during spring break, you might have remembered that I did a video about that. Um, my friends Taylor and Tyler, who live there now, mm -hmm, excuse me for eating, but it's really good. They, uh, they took me to this Thai restaurant, and they're like, hey man, you gotta, th you gotta try this Penang curry. And I was like, okay. Or Penang curry, or whatever, however it's called. Um, and so I did, and, you know, nowhere on the menu did it say that there were, was peanut oil and stuff in it. So, <laughs> I started having an allergic reaction, because I'm allergic to peanuts. And then, so I told them, at the, I told the, the, the waitress, she brought it back, and they made me a total, totally new one. I was drinking water like crazy, because that usually helps to get, get it down. And I didn't want it to ruin my experience, because usually I'll have to take Benadryl right away, but I was pretty lucky. I, I, I can catch it really early on, because I just, within the first bite, I know that there's something that I'm allergic to in it. So, um, they didn't use any, any peanut oil or anything like that, or peanut sauce or whatever it is. Um, and they made it vegan, and... So I really fell in love with it, and then I was just looking online for some recipes, and it's really, really high in fat. I mean, there's a lot of coconut milk, which I didn't know this, but coconut milk is different from coconut water. Uh, so I bought light coconut milk, like you, like I'm showing you guys, and instead of using two cans of coconut milk, I used one can of light coconut milk, which is like three times less fat in it, and one cup water. So that's what's in this. And honestly, it still tastes really, really good. Um, Alright, so yeah, I just want to give a quick shout out to Tyler and Taylor. Thanks for get me on the Thai, Thai food bandwagon, and, you know, I had, I had gone to Thai restaurants before, but never had I ordered the Penang curry, and the local restaurant here, the Thai restaurant, is called Green Pea Pod in McHenry, in Illinois, and they will not, they won't make a vegan Penang, Penang curry or Penang curry for me, because they say that a lot of the ingredients come in packaged like that, and it's not vegan, so I'm guessing there's a, it's like a Penang curry paste that is, is already got, like, fish oil or whatever in it. So it's not vegan, so, yeah. All right, I'll show you it when it's finished. Take a look at that. It just smells so good. It just smells and looks amazing. Can't wait. All right, guys, this is plate one of the Penang curry that I just I just, just finished um, cooking. So it looks really good, smells really good. The rice had been done, you know, probably 20 minutes before this had finished. It's, just, it's really good, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms either. Like, fr I'm actually... Really weird, I'm allergic to fresh mushrooms, but when they're cooked, they found that I can eat them. So, I don't know. Really weird. But, uh, I, I do like cooked mushrooms. I hate fresh mushrooms, so... Let's see. Still a bit too hot, but I like food hot, so here we go. Mmm. Really good. If I were to do it again, I would probably use about three quarters of the vegetables that I used. And a little more of the curry, just because I feel like it's overwhelmingly vegetables. A little bit on the weak side of the curry. But the curry is really good itself. So, try the recipe out, guys. Stefan Molyneux. <laughs> Stefan Molyneux. Okay. I think this fly is toast. Is it? Got another fly buddy trying to help him out. Let's see what happens. Going a little closer. The spider's trying to trap him in. The spider's got him. I mean, that fly is never, ever gonna be able to get out. I think the uh, spiders actually stunned him somehow, or uh, paralyzed him. I think they have the power to do that. up so I stopped at my local mulberry tree to carve up you know you can't argue with free food mm. I literally could sit here for an hour eating these I love how this tree is just like, this branch is just like, bended over for, it's like for me. <laughs> Not for me, but for other people, you know. 
does stain the fingers. Mm. I never eat too much because I'm afraid. And this is an unrational, not very rational thought. I'm always afraid I'm going to eat them all. But just look at them. There's like hundreds of ones that are ready right now. So I don't, I don't think it's possible for me to eat them all. I think I would... <laughs> I don't know. I think I would get full long before I ate all these. Chico likes them too. Mulberry tree. See, I wish I would have planted one of those in my freaking yard. But I think three apple trees and three peach trees will be good. In about five years' time. Maybe two or three. If I'm lucky. That one's too ripe. They always have like a... Like a... Kind of a gross flavor if, if they're too ripe. Mm. Yum. Yes, you can do it. Two more. No, he, go okay. he doesn't know where the stairs are. Yeah, he does. Let him go this way, then. Well, duh, if you put him that way. No, he'll get there. He goes to the closest <laughs> wall, Bill. He doesn't go to the stairs. Uh, See, point him this way and let him go. Okay. Chico, over here. Come here, Chico. You can't go up that way. Chico, teach him. 